Thank you. Thank you. An email landed in my mailbox in September 2010 saying, I just learned that in the Clinton Global Initiative, you committed University of the People to take 250 students from Haiti following the earthquake and teach them free. I think it's amazing what you're doing for my country. I would like to help. My name is Georgine, and I'm your first student in Haiti. I didn't think that the students in Haiti can help us in such a big operation, so I did nothing but thanking him. A few months later, when I arrived to Haiti to welcome our first group of students, someone came to me, shook my hand, and said, I'm Georgine, your student. I learned that you're opening a center in Haiti, so I'm here for the last few weeks, helping the new students to get to the system. I thought it's quite impressive initiative by him. When we announced our partnership, University of the People partnership with NYU, where our best students can be accepted to NYU Abu Dhabi, fully paid by NYU, Joe Jin applied. What he didn't know, though, is that he was one of 15,000 students to compete over 150 seats. Incredible number. Amazingly enough, he was one of the selected few to be invited to the candidate weekend in Abu Dhabi. Unfortunately, though, in spite of all his hours, NYU best effort, he couldn't get in time the US transit visa he needed for this trip. The night before he was supposed to leave to Abu Dhabi, I got an email. It was Joe Jin saying, I didn't get the visa. It's all over. My lifetime opportunity to study in NYU Abu Dhabi is gone. I think that this is the time, President Reshef, to thank you for everything you have done for me. I look at the email and I can't believe my eyes. This incredible person, instead of screaming at his bad luck, he finds it appropriate to thank me for what I had supposedly done for him. I didn't know what to do. I picked up the phone. I called the Clinton, the Clinton Global Initiative people, saying, listen, Georgine is not only my cause. It's your cause as well. Please help. The woman on the other side of the phone saying, Shai, you just mentioned that the embassy is closed. Nothing can be done. What do you want us to do? My reaction was, I don't know. You're the Clintons. Do something. <laughs> Believe me. It was not funny at the time. I was so upset. I hung up the phone. I went to sleep. Just to wake up the next morning to realize that a miracle happened. Someone from the embassy called Joe Jean. He got the visa. He made it to the flight. He made it to the candidate weekend. Well, that was, though, only the beginning. Because what is the chance of a student for, from a poor developing country such as Haiti to be accepted to the most selective university in the world where only 1% of the students are being accepted? You know, not every story has a happy ending. This one does. <laughs> he got accepted. He's going to study in NYU Abu Dhabi this coming September. Well, this is University of the People. We open the gates to higher education for everyone. And let me give you a few examples of what I mean by everyone. Meet Anthony. Anthony is a new immigrant to the US from Kenya. He's eligible for higher education but he can't afford it. And you don't need to be a new immigrant in order to be in this situation. We all know it. The number one reason worldwide for people not to be able to get higher education is because they cannot afford it. It's too expensive. For people like Anthony, who cannot get higher education for, finan for financial reasons, the gates to higher education are now open. Meet Nelia. Nelia was uh, Nelia from Peru. Uh, was on her way on a bus to her university, 
got into a devastating car accident, spent a year and a half in the hospital, came out on a wheelchair. She wanted to resume her studies, but how likely she is to find a handicapped, accessible university in a small town in a developing country? Well, for, for those like Nilia with personal issue, personal reasons not to get higher education, the door are now open. Last but not least, meet Mary Kay from Tanzania. She's a mother to a young boy who lives in a culture where women, young mother, are discouraged from going, for cultural reasons, are discouraged from going back to school. For people like Mary Kay, that cannot get higher education for uh, cultural reasons, the gates to higher education are now open. These were obviously a few examples. But if you had to guess, how many people do you think are deprived from higher education worldwide? Well, listen to that. UNESCO stated that for 98 million students, again, for 98 million students, the gates for higher education will be closed. For those millions, we open University of the People. The gates to higher education are now open for everyone. When I announced University of the People at the UN, it was for me a turning point in my life. I've been in for-profit education for over 20 years. I was personally in charge of educational programs for hundreds of thousands of students from kindergarten to college level. I started the first online university outside of the US in Europe. That's where I learned how powerful online learning can be. We had students from all over the world. They stayed at home, they kept their job, and still got this great European education. But while having this great success, deep inside, I felt uncomfortable. Because for most people, this great education was nothing but a wishful thinking. It was too expensive. I sold this university, this university. I sold the rest of my business to go into semi-retirement, just to realize that it's not really for me. I want to continue. But it was also clear to me that I don't want to do more of the same. I'm fortunate. I have enough. It's my turn now to give back. And if I want to give back, I want to do it in a meaningful way to have an impact on the world. And if you want to have an impact on the world, obviously, for me, it is education. And it's, it is not because that's the only thing I know how to do. But because if you think about it, if you educate one, you change a life. If you educate many, you change the world. So I looked around and I realized that much that is needed to open the gates to higher education is available and for free. Open source technology. Technology that people produce and put online for everyone to use for free. Open educational resources. Content that people produce and put on the internet for everyone to use for free. And the new internet culture of social networking where people share, learn, and teach each other for free. All I had to do is to bring it together. So I did. And I created University of the People. University of the People is the first ever non-profit, tuition-free, online university. The gates to higher education are now open for everyone. Well, it was created only three years ago. Look what we have achieved since. We have accepted 1,500 students. 95% of them are saying that they would recommend us as a good place to study. I guess it must be that we're doing something right. This 
1,500 students are coming from 132 countries, from the United States to the United Arab Emirates, from Indonesia to Bolivia, from South Sudan to Afghanistan, every corner of, of, of the globe. For these 1,500 1, students, we have 2,900 volunteering professors. 2,000 900 volunteering professors jumped on board to help our students. If you haven't noticed, we have a ratio of two about two professors for every student. I don't know that many universities have this ratio. <laughs> and they are coming from the best universities. Our provost is from Columbia University. Our deans are from NYU. Our top academic leadership are coming from Oxford, Harvard, MIT, Michigan, etc. We are partners with the Yale Law School for Research. We are partners with NYU to accept our students. And we are partners with HP for online internship for our students. And last but not least, we have over one million supporters on Facebook. One million supporters on Facebook. We are the second largest university on Facebook after Harvard. I guess we should try harder, right? <laughs> Our students are coming to us because they want to have a better chance for their future. For that very reason, we offer business administration and computer science. These are the two degrees that are most likely to help them find a job. But there is another reason. For us, as important. Whenever our students take a class they are being put together in our virtual classroom with 25 students from 25 different countries. A program is about 40 courses. 40 times they meet 25 new students from 25 new countries. By the time they graduate, graduate they have met people from every corner of the globe. So I would like you to stop for a second and picture. Picture what happened when students from Israel and Palestine study together. Picture what happened when students from India and Pakistan study together. Picture what happened when students from Greece and Turkey study together. They learn to know each other, to understand each other, to respect each other. Instead of being enemies, outside of the classroom, they become friends. This is University of the People. We open the gates to higher education for everyone. Offering our students a better chance for their future. Offering the world a better chance for peace. Just imagine one million students walking through these open gates Thank you.